Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to our intro to Young Living Essential Oils. Um, and thank you to our gracious host, Nicole, for sharing her place. We have Karen. Karen, Kelly's here, Ashley's here. Um, I'm Sarah and little Anaya, our youngest oiler. <laughs> and we're going to go through um, Young Living Essential Oils, the company, the oils, the purity, quality, all that kind of stuff, and what you do with essential oils. Um, so we're very glad you could join us. And um, we, for those of you that couldn't make it here in person, um, we're glad that you can um, at least get the video and join in that way. I'm going to get started by sharing um, this presentation with you and we'll go over the Young Living Lifestyle. So a little bit about me and how I got into essential oils. Um, I was for many years, uh, about 15 years or so, in the child care industry. I directed preschools, um, child care centers, and um, at the last child care center where I worked, there was a lovely lady, Miss Kate, um, who was our one of our infant teachers. And in this particular infant suite that we had at the school, there were three different infant classrooms. And at one point, we were we had this. Um, we were plagued with this really terrible stomach bug where all the babies, the parents, everybody, teachers were coming down with these stomach bug um, issues, diarrhea, vomiting, everything. And she um, had brought in her diffuser, her young living diffuser, and put it in her classroom, which was kind of open, you know, shared only half walls with the other rooms um, and shared a lot of common space. But she continuously diffused that thieves in her little corner, and her babies were the only ones to not get the stomach bug. Mm -hmm. And of course, she had always been on me to try young living oils, and I was constantly sick with sinus infections and on antibiotics antibiotics and allergy medicines and everything and um, eventually one day she kind of forced peppermint on me and thank God she did because I felt so much better it relieved my migraine headaches my sinus um, issues and so for a long time I you know got my oils off of her until I eventually bought my own and of course stubborn as I am I decided to buy mm -hmm. Every other brand there was that I could find out on the market that appeared to be cheaper and I thought just as good. And I learned the hard way. And then I started to do some research, a lot of research actually, and I found out a lot about um, essential oil regulations, purity, quality. And that's when I decided to, that Kate was right after all, and I decided to go with Young Living. So, and I'll explain a little bit more about quality and why I made that choice. Um, but and to sum it up and keep it short, Young Living was the purest um, quality of essential oils I could find. And if I was going to be putting that into my body and into my children's body, I wanted to make sure it was the best, um, highest quality possible. Um, Nicole, do you want to share a little bit about how you got into oils? We'll come back to Nicole. <laughs> She's a little camera shy right now. But um, Ashley here, who oh, is Ashley nine years old, is going to go first and tell us about oils. Tell us, Ashley. Um, my mommy started to get into oils because when her friend Sam showed her. Well, Sam was the baby, but sure. Yeah. And... Her, she's very excited too. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And my mommy went on oil, the oil website, and she has her own website about oils now. But what and do I use them for? For like. What do I use them every day for? <laughs> for what? What do I put on you? You always put on me. Are any of them here? Yeah. Okay. Pick out the ones your mommy puts um, on you. She puts lemon every day in my water. Mm -hmm. She puts peppermint on my feet. And um, she usually puts lavender on my lashes. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I got any bruises. Mm-hmm. And um, when my leg hurts, you put the pain away. Or maybe stress away. Pain away. Mm-hmm. Um, and she usually puts stress away. She usually puts joy. And Franklin, he usually... Frankincense? Frankincense. <laughs> Frankie's our guy. <laughs> Frankincense and the dip Jesus. Mm-hmm. And, and what, what... Sorry. What do I spray on your hair? Oh, um... The one in there. The tree oil? Okay. Melaleuca. And my hair and what do I put not here? get light. Mm-hmm. Um, she usually puts brain brain power on my um forehead and on the back of my neck. What does that do for you? Make me focus. Yeah, like helps you focus. And she um what do I use for Jake's? Yeah. Um he put the venom on my brother's Back. And what happens when she puts it on your brother's back? What does it do for him? <laughs> Makes him bleed. Like. You don't know what it does for him? Does it help? Was it common? Mm-hmm. What happens if we don't give it to him? He jumps on the house. So if he doesn't get the vetiver, he's jumpy. Yeah, so the better work helps him. Stay calm, take deep breaths. And what did he have on today before we left the house? Um, uh, he had... What was he wearing? Short sleeves and shorts. Mm-hmm. Is that a big deal for your brother to wear short sleeves and shorts? Why? Because yeah, he has, um, issues a lot. <laughs> he has some special needs. Yeah. yeah. With a lot. Does he usually not like to put on clothes? He likes to put on clothes, but like every winter and summer, because on summer he wears short sleeves, and then in the winter he like, because he really he's not used to wearing long sleeves. Then he starts to my mom my, like for the bedtime. Jake, Jake wears his PJs and the long sleeves, and he get gets used to that. But in the summer. He wants to wear a long sleeve, and then when my mom tried to put it on, he didn't like it. And then he said, "How about let's do shorts, um, long short sleeves on, on top of long sleeves?" Okay. Um, <laughs> and what happens when he starts crying or he gets sick? What does he go for? Oil. And what happens if I try to give him aspirin? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to take it anymore. He won't take it anymore. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. So you heard from Ashley how she got into oils and what they do for her and her brother. Now, cool. Are you going to share a little bit? Okay. All right. All right. Um, so as everybody should know by now, um, I have had problems with my back for over seven years um, and multiple sinus surgeries, sinus infections all the time, nonstop, um, allergies, what have you, pretty much everything, you know, you can name, I've had it. Uh, So, never really thought about oils or anything like that. I just, I've heard about oils, essential oils, um, and my first thought kind of was hippies, you know, that's kind of what I thought. (laughs) Um, So, Kelly, who I didn't really know, um, she was friends with my husband growing up, so she said that she was having a party and you know what what do I have to lose at this point you know I've been on every medication I've been taking um, pain meds for seven years on and off and you know at this point I'm I'm on like the highest um, dosage that you could take one of the strongest medications that you could take you know and it does wow. nothing for me at this point I mean it just basically kind of takes the edge off, I guess you could say, but it doesn't really, you know, I'll never be out of pain 100%. But, um, so I said, you know, I'll just give it a shot. I mean, I have nothing to lose at this point. So I went, went to the party, and I said, all right, well, um, 
you know, I'll, I'll put in an order, but I'm going to wait. And then I think you had mentioned something about um, the, the, uh, the $20 off or whatever it was. It was a voucher. And I said, all right, well, I'll do it. So I got my kit and I went through things and I was like, oh, you know, this works and that works. And um, let's see, let's see, peppermint, peppermint I used. Peppermint was good. Um, and the, is it pan away or pan away? Pan away. Pan away. Okay, so this was good, um, but it just wasn't enough for me as far as um, my pain was concerned. Um, I will say, though, that the peppermint opened up my sinuses right away, so that was awesome. Um, and then the lemon, I also put that in my water. Um, yeah, orange, you put it in your water. So it's detoxing. So it goes detoxing. Thieves. Anytime I'm getting sick or start to feel like I'm getting sick, I put that um, on my feet or I put it on my glands. Um, and then usually um, I can keep it at bay and stop it from getting any further. But so what I did is I just started researching, um, you know, oils that could help with inflammation and um, different types of pain. And I researched, and I researched, and I ordered, and I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history. Yeah. And I found um, with Aroma Thieves and Copa Eva are my two go-to oils for pain. Wow. And lemon. You, How would you? Sorry, go ahead. And lemon. You can also put orange. The oil in your water to mm -hmm. make it like a little. You can orange. ingest any of them, right? Well, do you like to take your water with, with a little lemon and orange yeah. in it? That's great. Because I don't like plain water. You don't? No. Oh, look at that. That's a nice neat trick. Mm -hmm. So what do you do with the with those two? Do you rub them? Like, how do you use them? You Just put them in your hand? And oh, um, pretty much, yeah. I just kind of put it... Um, I was kind of just dropping it onto the area, but it's a little difficult to do. I need to get more roller bottles. Um, Cause you gave me a couple and use them for something else. So I have to you know, I have roller bottles for everything. Get a, um, mm -hmm. a bunch of those. Mm -hmm. never thought about putting them in a roller bottle. So now I'm dropping them, you know, a couple drops in my hands mm -hmm. and then um, applying. Well, and then I also have, um, Ortho Sport and Ortho Ease mm -hmm. that I started using as well to massage oil. Nice. You, you didn't like the deep relief? Didn't really do much. No, I see it. It actually deep relief for um that's like my for headaches. I thought was really good. Yeah, but to me it's 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 kind of just like using peppermint. Mm -hmm. So you heard about how we got into essential oils and um, why we chose Young Living, what what the Young Living essential oils do for us. Now we'll keep going into a little bit of the um, quality. But before we do, I just need to say that um, this presentation that we're doing today is for informational purposes only, and it reflects our personal experiences with Young Living oils and products. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA or Young Living, and they're not meant or intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease. Um, it's simply us sharing our experiences. Um, we are not healthcare professionals, um, but we definitely um, share our experience because we found something that has worked for us. And we encourage you to look into it and discuss it with your healthcare professionals and make your own um, you know, choices and be informed. So what are essential oils? Essential oils are the natural, very concentrated aromatic liquids found in shrubs, flowers, trees, roots, bushes, seeds. Um, and they're basically the plant's immune system. They're like the lifeblood of the plant. They protect plants against insects, environmental um, hazards, um, and whatnot, and, and disease. They keep the plants healthy, basically. Oh, I think I'm going back somehow. 
Here we go. So are they a lot? One question we get a lot is are they like olive oil or canola oil? No, those oils are fatty oils. We actually can use them as a carrier and you may hear that term. Um, so, but essential oils are not carrier oils. They're not fatty thick oils. They're, um, they absorb quickly through the skin and they evaporate, evaporate off the skin in a couple of hours. They're um, not from nuts or distilled with nuts, the essential oils. However, some essential oil blends, which is, you know, incorporates various, you know, three, four, five different oils into one blended together, sometimes have a, a carrier oil in there that can be nut based. So it's good to check the ingredients. Um, they could be, um, you know, uh, have a, a carrier oil base of almond or sesame or coconut. Um, so it's good to let you know. The thing that I found when I learned the hard way, when I went and purchased all the different types of brands of oils that were out there on the market, especially at the health food stores and whatnot, I found that they didn't yeah, list ingredients. Like yeah. Um, Young Living lists all the ingredients, and you, when they say that it's a lavender, you can bet 100% of what's in that bottle is lavender. Um, the, the trouble with what's out on the market is that, unfortunately, essential oils fall into a category that's uh, under perfumery. Um, because the FDA, for whatever reason, at this point, is not wanting to recognize them as medicinal, which they are. They're the original medicine, and that's a whole other discussion of, of itself. Mm -hmm. But, you know, of course, the FDA is, is highly motivated by pharmaceutical industry, mm -hmm. and therefore, um, they kind of stick essential oils um, under perfumery, which means that a manufacturer can put a bottle out on the shelf and label it 100% pure therapeutic grade essential oil when it only has as little as three or 5% of that particular oil in the bottle. So you may think that what you're buying, because you, you buy a bottle of lavender, it says lavender and it says 100% pure. She was there. And there is, <laughs> and there is no um, list of any other ingredients. So you may think you're buying a bottle full of lavender and what you're getting is actually a whole bunch of other mystery ingredients as well. My, yes. my girlfriend, I did like a presentation at my mom's house and then um, she texts me later and she goes, look at what I found at TJ Maxx. And I was like, do you really think you can get anything that benefits you health-wise at TJ Maxx? They sell them. <laughs> and then she, she's like, oh my God, I, I, they made me sick. I had to take them back. And I'm like, well, until you're ready to like, you know, but yeah, TJ Maxx. Right? That's incredible. Oh, the I forgot you. that pepper can also be used <laughs> okay. for stomach aches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or a headache. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, thank you for that tip, Ashley. Um, one of our um, resource sites. Did you know, according to the Lavender Growers Association, 100 times more lavender oil, in quotes, was exported from France than is actually grown in France? Where is the extra oil? <laughs> How is that even possible? Exactly. Yeah, it's called adulteration. Yeah. So... What you're getting out on the market is, especially if it's from a company that is not an open book, transparent company, that you cannot see their farms, you cannot see their process. They don't share with you what they're um, putting into their soil, their plant, how they're fertilizing and growing their automatic plants. Um, you know, what you're getting from, if you're buying your oils from there, is really a mystery. And would you want to use that? on your children, on yourself, and just my purposes. So, like I said, I learned the hard way, but, um, you know, which is why I am now here sharing this with you so that hopefully I can spare other people from learning the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> and it'd save you some money. And save you a lot of money. Um, oh, I think I keep going back the wrong way. Here we go. So how long have they been used? They've been recorded in history for thousands of years, basically from the beginning of time. They're pictured in hieroglyphics in Egypt and also in Native American teachings. They're mentioned in more than two, uh, more than 200 times in the Bible. They have played a huge role in everyday life throughout history, and they've been used for anointing and healing of the sick and also just for fragrance. 
Do they go bad? Real pure essential oils do not expire and they do not go bad. <laughs> so if your oil has an expiration date, that would be a warning sign. <laughs> where do they come from? Essential oils come from all over the world, depending on where the plant is grown, the type of environment it needs to, to grow. <laughs> so for instance, tea tree oil, yeah, we're diffusing some joy right now. It smells great. I think that's why she woke up. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the baby woke up. She, she's gonna be ready to play and giggle <laughs> with everybody soon. Um, so tea tree oil is, uh, for example, grown in Australia. Lavender is grown in France, although, we, um, yeah, Gary Young has grown it successfully in um, the U.S. as well, in, in Utah, um, because of the, you know, he found the right conditions there as well. And um, frankincense myrrh are grown in Middle East. Uh, in the Rams, Amazon rainforest, you have oils from Copaiba, Ocatea, Palo Santo, Dorado Azul. Um, those are just some of the oils from the Amazon rainforest. <laughs> oh. Keep doing that. I don't know why. This is like tricky. Sorry, I'm like having a little technical difficulty with the slides. But anyway, so how are they used? They can be used in aromatherapy, massage therapy. They can be used for emotional health, personal care, household solutions. Uh, basically, if you want to replace all your cleaning products through a more natural um, option and toxic free, this would be the way to go. They can be used for nutrition as nutritional supplements, and they are even used in. Actually, the, since this slide has been out, okay. it's been it's in, the numbers good. increased quite a bit. Uh, they are in over, I believe, it's ninety hospitals throughout the United States now. I thought it was like two. I heard it or was is like it two hundred? Oh yeah. So it's, it's, it's growing every day. Because my girlfriend Laura, she just like reached out to me today because we were doing a Girl Scout thing, and she goes, "Watch, watch." She goes, "Um, she knows." They actually pulled a, a team of nurses and they wanted them to take an essential oil class. And that was for young yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And um, somebody who uh, I know was a nurse, she works in one of the hospitals where they did use essential oils. And she said, like, the first time that, you know, there was a you know, patient was sick, for, I think they might have been a chemo patient. And mm -hmm. instead of, you know, going right to more drugs, when this patient experienced the nausea, they were, you know, trained to give one of those little inhalers. You know the inhaling mm -hmm. stick by, oh, with the cotton inside? Oh, and they were given yeah, peppermint yeah. essential oil, and they just put a couple of drops of peppermint in that and tell the patient to sniff it, and it helped with their nausea. And she was like, she, it almost brought tears to her eyes because she was just so glad that they weren't just injecting more and more medicine into the you know patient. That. All this patient had to do was sniff some peppermint, and it was better, you know. And so taking pills on top. Yeah, of chemo. exactly. So who can use them? Everyone, from newborns to the elderly, and even pets. They're safe for everybody. Um, there's a lot. I think he's oh, yes. enjoying the joy. He is. Very, excited, very, very happy dog over there. Um, and yeah, Nicole, you used them on Hershey, right? Yeah. Hershey um, got his little leg stuffed in that blanket over there. <laughs> and when he was trying to hop off, um, it's a crocheted blanket, so if anybody is wondering, if anybody is watching, um, it's a crocheted blanket, so his little paw got stuck in those little holes. He tried to jump off, and he took the whole thing with him. And I guess he pulled his his leg. I don't know exactly what happened, you know. Then the next, I don't know if it was the next morning or the same day, I took him outside, and he slipped on black ice. Oh, no. So he aggravated it even more. And we were carry, actually carrying him out to go to the bathroom, and then he would come back um, on his own. So I did, um, I did the pan away and lemongrass and copa iba was the first application, and he started to get a little bit better. So I did pan away and copa iba again, and he seemed to be okay. But then that next morning, he started crying and whimpering, and he was shaking really bad. So I did one more application on him, and then I put lavender. I just kind of pet his head with lavender to calm him down. And I made an appointment for the vet just to make sure, you know, just in case. And by the afternoon, I was actually getting ready to get in the shower, and I called down <coughs> to my husband, and I said, 
um, how's Hershey doing? Do I need to, you know, get to the vet? And he said, I don't know, you come check it out. I come downstairs and Hershey is humping the cat. <laughs> so needless I guess to he was say, <laughs> I think <laughs> it worked. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So they're safe, and I, I've used yes, and I've I've used it on um, Anaya here, who is just two months old. Um, actually, I used it during labor. I used it <laughs> as you know when she was uh, just, put just it on her she came old. In. I put it on her just before she came in here. Um, mm -hmm. So it, it's definitely safe for everybody. Um, here are some places where you can learn a little bit more about essential oils. You can um, there's uh, something called essential oil desk reference that you get from LifeSciencePublishers.com, I believe it is. Um, they have a pocket guide that is really really helpful. Um, here Nicole is going to show us what those look like. And weren't you giving these to people who ordered? Okay. Hi. I don't know where my big book went. I don't. I have. Um the Higley big one. So this is um, one reference guide for essential oils, which is um, a great, great tool. And it can tell us about all the different uses of essential oils. This is one of our favorites, the pocket reference guide. Again, you get this from Life Science Publishers. And it has directory for personal usage, um, you know, based on different, you know, ailments or conditions or needs. And it tells you what page to go to. And then it'll give you the recommendations protocol, what oils are good for that. It also has, um, you know, a little bit of history and the science behind essential oils on there, raindrop application, a lot, a lot of information in this one little book. It's, it's really awesome. And then there's also these little tiny guides that you can literally keep in your pocket or in your purse. And, um, you know, again, same, same information. It gives you the Vitaflex points on the feet, what, you know, so you can target certain areas. And, um, you know, again, cuts, scrapes, wounds, what oils are good for that and how to use them, that kind of thing. It pretty much has all the different needs in there. Um, so these are some of our tools that we love to use and we certainly recommend that you get some of those because uh, they can make your journey with essential oils go a lot. <laughs> So when people say, oh, how do you know what to use for what? That's how we know. We go right to the sources. We have each other, too. And we have each other. We call on each other. We are here Quite for frequently. you. Quite frequently. Yes. <laughs> um, you can also go to youngliving.com. There's a lot of info on there. And then from there, you can access Gary Young's blog as well. Um, attending classes and events is something we absolutely recommend. It's so helpful. I mean, we all have doctors, acupuncturists, you know, chiropractors, all kinds of uh, different uh, knowledgeable people at classes teaching different things. So it's really great to attend them. Um, there's also a website called oil-testimonials.com where you can go and there's tons of testimonials on there that are very helpful. In addition to that, you can visit us on Facebook on our page, The Soul Drop Garden. Um, it's actually facebook.com nature's slash nature's healing power. And there we post our experiences quite often and a lot of resources there as well. And then our website too, The Soul Drop Garden has a lot of info on there. Uh, so those are just some of the places you can go for more information. Now, um, you know, you're not here, so we can't do this part, which is getting to the good stuff and putting them on. But we're certainly going to go over the oils. Yes. We, we're going to go over them and what, uh, how to use each one. But just to um, go over application for a little bit, there's three ways you can use essential oils. The first one is inhalation, which you can inhale them right out of the bottle, or you can inhale them from a diffuser, like we have here going. Um, the other way, the second way you can use them is topical application. Literally applying them to your skin topically, wherever. You know, if you have a knee ache, you apply it to your knee. If you have a headache, you apply it to your head. Um, you know, if it's a systematic type of thing, you apply it to the bottoms of your feet. It gets absorbed into your bloodstream very quickly, and it helps you, um, you know, or, or applied along the spine. So I think top something like 20 Seconds or 28 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Yep. The yep. other thing that I do with the peppermint is I have sleep apnea. So I have like a little pad that I put 
on the air intake of my CPAP machine. I put a few drops of peppermint in there and it keeps my airways open at night. Wow, that's amazing. Better. Wow. Yeah, that's it a, really works great. A lot of people I, I, I know have yeah. asked about that. There's one of our uh, group pages, you know, where people ask for um, advice and stuff. And a lot of people have asked about a CPAP if it was safe to use. You so. don't put it in the water, the CPAP, but put it on like a piece of cotton and put it near where the filter goes in your CPAP so that it sucks the vapors through at night. And it's, cool. it's really wonderful. That is awesome. Really Thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, so don't put it in the water, put it on the cotton. Yeah, not near a piece of cotton or a piece of filter. tissue or That's something amazing. near the filter. Yeah. Thank you. And then the third way we can um, apply essential oils is, is by ingesting them. You basically want to look for the FDA supplement label on them. And here, let me show you what that looks like. Um, let's see. So right here, I don't know if you can see. Let me just make sure you're looking at it. So there's like a peel back thing on the label and then underneath there you'll see um, a supplement label from the FDA. And that basically um, tells you that it is generally regarded as safe by the FDA for ingestion. Um, and that's also another, brings me to another point, um, another warning sign that the oils you may have, you have may not be that pure. If you purchase an oil that is supposed to be an ingredient that is safe to ingest, say oil of orange, oil of peppermint, oil of lemon. Those are things that we eat and we take in. So why would the, the oil of peppermint or the oil of orange not be safe to ingest? So if you have an oil like that and it says not oh, for external use only, do not ingest, not for internal use, that's a warning sign that your oil is not pure and is most likely adulterated. So mm -hmm. stay away from those. To the other screen here. <laughs> you like that, Ashley? <laughs> Maria, we haven't had that for a while. Joy. No, it's not. I no, just put it on. I put it on the uh, intervals. Yeah. So let's go through the ten everyday oils that come in the premium starter kit. Um, these are the most versatile and most uh, commonly used oils, and you can pretty much use them for hundreds if not thousands of, of things. So, and those are the, the, the 10 oils everybody starts with that you can literally make over your medicine cabinet with. So we'll start with Stress Away. It comes in uh, pretty much all the starter kits, I think, right, the Stress Away. And Stress Away soothes away tension, it promotes stressful sleep, it's calming to both adults and kids. You mean restful sleep? Yeah, restful sleep. <laughs> I and, don't want stressful sleep. Yes. <laughs> I love Thank the smell you. of it, and I get compliments all that the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it smells great. And um, it, they were people, open love to, people love to use them in a relaxing bath, and it calms the mind. Oh, is this the one? Wait. Is this the one with the vanilla and mm -hmm. lime? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's one of my favorites. That's one of my favorites. So just a tip, when you um, are smelling an oil, you can also put you, it on your nose. Yes, you can put it on your nose. But um, some of them are very strong, and if it's an oil, especially that you're not familiar with, the way to smell an oil is to start down below here in front of your chest, let's say, and start whirling it like this, the open bottle. And literally, the smell will come up, and you just literally bring it up. A little bit, and that's a good way, you know, especially when you it's an oil you've never tried before, it's a good way to get started. So, there's they also say out. too that if it's something that you know you can't stand the smell of mm -hmm. to get used to it, to put it in your back pocket first, yeah, and then once you get a little bit more used to it, you can put it in your front pocket, and then you could slowly work, slowly it. work your way to um, applying it. Yeah. My, that's a good point. Too. My mom said. The ones that you don't like the smell of, you need the most. And that's true. Sometimes we, uh, uh, you know, knee-jerk reaction reject some of the stuff that we need because the, the matter of the fact, the truth is that these um, oils are um, helping to detoxify and bring balance to our bodies, especially when we have been filled with toxins in them. The more toxins we have been exposed to, the more 
the oils are going to work you know, the harder they're going to work on us. And so we may have like an initial reaction of like, oh no, I, this, this is changing something inside me and you just reject it at first. But it's actually probably because it's, it's doing something, it's detoxing something, reading your body of something. Um, so you slowly work your way into it, like Nicole suggested, back pocket and front pocket. And then, you know, even just keeping it near you um, increases your frequency. I mean, there's, such high frequency in these oils. We do this. Lavender, <laughs> Lavender uh, is the Swiss Army knife of oils. You can use it for almost everything. Is this one of your oh, favorites? One of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> what do you use it for? Everything. <laughs> everything. Yep. So it, everybody knows lavender is calming. It also is great on cuts and burns. It encourages proper nasal function. It's um, great for bruises. Yes. See, there you go, Ashley. You can on bruises. Well, you know what it um, it's right yeah. for skin irritation, mm -hmm. sunburn, supports the immune system, including um, healthy skin. And it's also great for seeing bug bites and warding off bugs as well. And it helps rest, get you restful sleep. Don't like mosquitoes away. Yes, it does keep mosquitoes away. That and, and purification. Uh, let's go into frankincense. Frankincense promotes healthy skin. It protects the body and contributes to greater health. It also is great on cysts and blisters. It supports joint health. It's great on stretch marks, promotes emotional well-being, and it provides the nervous system support, and especially during times of stress. And frankincense is one of those oils that um, you've probably heard of. It was very, very, you know, popular all throughout time you know it was something that was actually for the kings and the rich and that was given to the Christ child I'm um, sure I you actually heard. used this for um, I had a couple of skin tags uh-huh um, like right on the corner of my eye I used right and they're Got gone. Rid of your skin tags that's oh, awesome they are gone yes there's a lot of research being done currently about frankincense and um, it, it, how it helps with cancer, actually. And um, it's used on cancer patients. Uh, I believe there's something like a thousand, more than a thousand studies currently being done on it. And there you see a picture of Jahan Thomas getting her Young Living Frankincense in an IV in Ecuador. <laughs> the U.S. is not um, <laughs> not on this bandwagon yet. But, um, yes, there are people who go to Ecuador, the clinic there, and get and they swear you feel so much better. It does a lot for their system internally. Um, the next oil we'll get into is Melaleuca artinifolia, which is also known as tea tree oil. Uh, there's a large variety of health benefits with this oil. It's very supportive to healthy skin and nails, and it contributes to a healthy immune system as well. Peppermint. Peppermint is a digestive aid. It alleviates fullness and bloating. It helps with muscle pain after exercise. It helps alleviate nausea, upset stomach. It also is antispasmodic, which means it supports the nervous system. It's great for hot flashes. Try just rubbing a little peppermint on the back of your neck during the hot summer day. Mm -hmm. And um, it helps with focus and concentration, and it's a great Headache. energy booster. And it opens Headaches, your airways. Yeah. And it opens your airways. That's right. And it smells just like peppermint. It does it smell just, just like peppermint. Like peppermint. <laughs> exactly. Right. So you know you're getting a very pure oil. You know, a lot of people, when they first... Yeah, people who have used essential oils when they first um, experience Young Living oils, like when they open up a bottle of Young Living, they go, "Oh wow, that's that's strong." Like candy cane. It's yeah, it's strong because you're getting the purest, most potent, uh, you know, from the plant uh, that was grown for aromatic purposes and um, and medicinal purposes. So yeah, the other stuff is not going to be quite as strong and potent as Young Living oils. <laughs> I particularly love to rub peppermint on my legs, like dilute it and rub it on my legs before and after a workout. It just makes your legs feel so fresh and then you don't get that soreness from working out. There's so many uses. I put a drop in my water, it makes me feel cool inside. Thousands of uses. Um, thieves. Thieves oil aids a healthy everything. immune system big time. Mm -hmm. It protects the body and contributes to greater health. It kills black mold. Uh, this <gasps> oil is. It's mm -hmm. great. It's a blend, actually. <laughs> you could use it for um, toothpaste. 
you do have to do things. Yes. So I'm going to share with you a little something about, um, let me see, where's the other page here that I can share? We put it on every day before we leave the house. Yeah. That is, what, you put these on every day? Mm -hmm. I put it on the yeah. rest of the Lemon, back of the neck every day. Joy, duplication, and peanut. Okay, so here's, this is a little tool or resource I want to share with you. Um, so one of the ingredients in the um, thieves, the oil blend is clove, essential oil. Uh, Thieves is actually has five oils: clove, cinnamon, uh, eucalyptus, lemon. Bless you. Uh, did I say five yet? Cinnamon, clove, eucalyptus, lemon, and rosemary. Uh, they're all very high antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal, and so clove essential oil. Just just the one of the five ingredients has been highly tested for its antimicrobial activity, and this is a chart that shows you basically the different things that it is resistant to. Um, when uh, they studied the essential oil of clove, they found resistance to all of these bacteria, fungi, and viruses you see on here. Um, now notice in that circle, there are one, two, three, four, five, six different streps, strands of streptococcus bacteria. So in clove oil, there is resistance to strep. Uh, there is also, if you look in there in the L's, resistance to listeria, and there's, some, there's also resistance to salmonella. I mean, so many things. Uh, viruses, it's resistant to the herpes virus. There is so much benefit in clove alone. And then imagine with the added benefits of cinnamon and lemon and all the other ones, rosemary. So I, want, I needed to share that with you. <laughs> Yeah, do you like thieves too? Keeps you healthy, that's right. <laughs> yes, yes, she has something to say. It really works, right? <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here. Yes, we know. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have, oh, uh, while we're on thieves, yes, let's go. Ashley mentioned the toothpaste. So there's a whole line of products with thieves. Uh, thieves product line includes household cleaner that is non-toxic, it's plant-based. And this cleaner is awesome. It's the only thing that is tough enough to, like, scrub your toilet and get grime out of your bathtub and whatnot. And it's safe enough where you can wash your fruit with it. Like how crazy is that? You and can also use pepper if you like don't have the, any seeds. You can also use peppermint as toothpaste. Yeah, um, yeah, you can do peppermint and coconut oil. A lot of people do that when they run out of toothpaste. Absolutely. Um, there's a thieves mouthwash which I love, and actually I um, have met a dental hygienist who only recommends the thieves mouthwash and toothpaste to her patients. Uh, because she's seen over the years you know what that, the effects of all the other stuff, you know, mm -hmm. that's in Thieves those mouthwash. Other ways. Yes, and I well, cannot be without my food mouthwash. <laughs> and my kids love the sleek toothpaste, too, which is like, it has seeds in it as well, but it's, it, it's got an orange um, flavor as well. And then there's uh, the hand soap, foaming hand soap. So I'm sure you've heard on the news how bad antibacterial soaps and... Um, Hand sanitizers are for you, so Thieves uh, has a safer, natural, plant-based alternative for you. It kills 99.96% of bacteria and viruses, and yet it's safe. And the bacteria and viruses don't grow resistant to it like they do the fake stuff, because this is plant-based, and it's constantly being made from new plants, which are constantly growing in the latest environment, where they're building immunity to the latest bugs that are out there. So I always look at it like this. Why do you think your sponges start to leak yeah. after a short period of time? Mm -hmm. If you're using antibacterial dish soap, yes. the smell that's mm -hmm. on your sponge is atrocious. Yeah. My mommy also uses carrot, a carrot oil for um, sunblock. And one little. Good to know. Oh, wow. 
Thank you for that. Yes. So <laughs> you, literally, you can take all the toxins that you're, you know, they say we're like exposed to like 500 plus toxins even before we leave the house every morning. Um, you know, so start start thinking about how many how much toxins you're putting into your body every day but with the stuff that you use. And I literally noticed, like I went to my friend's house the other day. She had a candle burning. And after like 20 minutes, I was like, you got it. You got to like blow that out. It was killing my head. Such a headache. Yeah. It like, you just get such a tolerance for that. You don't realize. You build a tolerance. Yeah. yeah. So after you, you stopped using those and things. I was like, oh my God, I'm literally going to throw up. Like I was, uh, my head was pounding. Yeah. It was so funny. Yeah. Once you've detoxed your body from so yep. a lot of that, those things, you notice how how intoxicating they and are And with my actually. sinus yeah. surgeries that I've had, I can smell things like a mile away. Yeah. So it's even more potent to me now. And I'm like, like I have, I have like oh, over 40 proteins yeah. upstairs that I haven't touched in yeah. over a year and a half, almost two years, because I can't really handle the smell anymore. My mom's like, so what perfumes do you want for Christmas? Because that's what she gets me, you know, she yeah, works no. at Macy's, and I'm like, mm, so essential I, don't oils need, would be nice. I don't need any <laughs> yes. of the perfume, but thanks. Yes, we use essential oils as our perfume yeah. now. Uh, and I've another thing about the compliments either. Yes, we get a lot like, of compliments. Oh my God, come here. I'm like, we, we went to, we, the other day we had a brownie, like, a, the, like 15 girls sitting over, and that was like feed in the room. I had lavender going, and I was like, going to ask if I can bring the diffuser, but I know. There's not, they're within that thing, and one girl was really slow. I was like, I oh, forget it. So I'm like doing it highly in my room. She's like, the leader comes over and she's like, we got some calming over there. I was like, well, the calming oils don't want me to come too hot strong anyway. But she's like, give me, give me a piece. Let's, you know, because like she was like paranoid of getting sick, but I was already, I had everything sprayed, I had everything going. I was like, I don't go anywhere without me. Oh, great. Um, and just another side note too. Oh, you okay? With the other uh, thieves cleaner, I use that on her cloth diapers. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, with the laundry detergent. And it lasts forever. It it's great. We put it in the spray bottle. It lasts forever. The cleaner is 100% plant and mineral based. Um, and it um, also has additional thieves and lemon oils in it. It's healthy. Um. And it allows for a very clean environment. Oh, how do I always go back to that? <laughs> we didn't I think, I think you went too far yes, now. Yes, I went too far now. Okay. There we go. We're back on track. So, <laughs> oh, Panaway. Oh. Panaway is also in the Everyday Oil Kit. It helps to relax muscles. It supports the healthy healthy joints and cartilage. It is also antispasmodic and it provides nervous system support during times we'll of stress really as well. Up. And as you heard, Ashley's mommy was a bit on Ashley when she gets AQ legs. Because we always have growing pains. You're not going to be able to open it. And there's also a stronger version of Panaway. Panaway doesn't quite seem to really do the trick as um, no. Nicole mentioned before. There's deep relief. Mm -hmm. You gotta find what works for you. Exactly. But you know, it's a good place to start, of course. Well, it comes with kits, so it's pretty expensive. Oh, this one's good. Yeah, that one gay. That one is very expensive. That watch is in the big reason. I think I want it now. No, no, no. Is it good? Okay, next we're going to go over purification. Purification is great for insect bites. It also it works awesome as an insect repellent. It helps with skin blemishes. It's an air purifier. It helps with sneaker odors, immune support, bee stings. I put it, a drop on a cotton swab and put it in um, her diaper pill. And thank goodness for that. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in her vacuum. I remember I got in your car that one time and you were like, you had just put the lemon in your cotton ball, remember? Yes. Like your car so much. Oh my god, I put it in there because there's a gluten here for like a few days. How many, <laughs> how many drops do you, do you put on the cotton ball? Like, no more than two. You don't need that much at all. I love Even one is enough. And It'll, it's such a cheap oil. It's like 15. I buy it like almost every time. Yeah. I yeah. I love it. Uh, here's a picture of Johan's son actually when he had a huge mosquito bite. You can see on the top left corner there, it's huge, it's red, it's inflamed. Um, and then the next picture to the right, you can see it's starting, the redness is going away and it's 
getting smaller and that's after she applied uh, lavender and purification. The picture was taken 10 minutes after she applied it. And then an hour later after the bite, you can see the mosquito bite is practically gone. Um, here's a bug re uh, repellent recipe a lot of people use. Put 25 to 30 drops of those oils you see there, purification lavender, peppermint, eucalyptus, and geranium. And fill the spray bottle with three ounces of water and you that'll take you throughout the summer and it's great oh, lemon lemon encourages proper nasal function it's a great air freshener uh, it's a grease remover it will get gum out of your hair it will like take the grease off your dishes it's awesome it supports healthy immune system it helps support healthy it veins good. it does taste mm -hmm. awesome Rem uh, i mentioned it was gum. it's uplifting and it's great on drinks and it's great for diffusing um, I take a couple of drops of lemon in a full 16 ounce glass of water each morning on an empty stomach. It balances the pH in the stomach, helps me stay hydrated from within. It's great. So, joy wins, and it's also in the diffusing. <laughs> yes, we are diffusing joy. Um, we love this oil. It's very refreshing and uplifting. It inspires romance, too. And it brings joy to the heart. And it may help ease the blues. And in the beginning, when my mom even got the oil, I didn't like the smell. And now I need it the night. <laughs> <laughs> so can young living yeah, essential oils hurt you? I love it. Oh, oh it, it has a lot, a lot of people. But Gross this one girl that, you know, she was going through a depression. I think she, she reached out for that one. She, she really likes it. Yeah. So the answer to whether or not they can hurt you is no. no. Um, there are hot oils such as oregano, thieves, thyme that can be uncomfortable, but they are not harmful. Lemongrass. And so what you want to do in lemongrass, yeah, what you want to do with those kinds of oils is dilute heavily. So what we mean by that is mix it with a carrier oil, a vegetable oil, a coconut oil. Um, oil. We love our v, the Young Living V6. It's a vegetable oil infused with six different vitamins. And um, it can also be ingested as well. You, you know, use the stuff the stuff you cook with, basically, because if it's safe enough for you to eat, then it should, can be applied on your skin. And so that's what you want to dilute it with. And if an essential oil gets in your eyes or causes oh skin irritation, dilute with vegetable oil. Never add water if there's irritation. Never. <laughs> water and yeah, water and oil don't mix. Think of what happens when you try to mix the two. It like repels. So what happens when you put water on top of that hot oil? It's going to drive it deeper into your it skin. It makes it worse. <laughs> I accidentally use. I was using oregano on. Um, a mold that I had, and I was using the frankincense on the skin tag, and I accidentally got the finger with the oregano in my eye when I went to go, thinking oh, it was the yeah. frankincense, and I did not know about the water thing, you know, and I grabbed, because my whole eye was burning, so I grabbed, I think, like, ice, and I went to go put, like, an ice pack or something. No, I was, like, screaming running around the house like like a nut job because i didn't know what to do at that yeah. point because i had water and it just made it worse i was like oh my god it hurts oh my god make it stop ah. yeah. uh peppermint you have to be careful because it's right next to your eye it and it can get and it really burns yeah it can make you tear up mm -hmm. right exactly so it doesn't but harm you because really exactly. i like throw it on every morning <laughs> i wake up and it bothers me but i move on <laughs> I move on. Yeah. Yeah. So another thing to, to be cautious about when using essential oils is to avoid using essential oils in the sun. Uh, citrus oils, I should say, not, not oil essential oils, just the citrus oils, like lemon, orange, those kinds of oils. They are considered photosensitive. So if you, if you use them in the sun, they can actually... In the product them. side, it'll tell you to... There's, um, when you get your kit, it should tell you, um, right? Does it tell you in the, in this? Yes. Yes. It has little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? For one minute. Little shapes that tell you if it's photosensitive. Mm -hmm. Um, 
or if it's a hot oil, and that comes with it. Yeah. So it has the little, tells you if it's mm -hmm. can use. Yeah. Um, I had to buy one of those because I have the old school. Family. So I just bought one in my last order. Like the, because I'm going the product guy. Come on so another, a couple of more precautions to be mindful of is that strong inhalation of peppermint, eucalyptus, or wintergreen can cause some difficulty um, breathing in some children under three. So use those cautiously. You know they're they're pretty strong. So if they if you apply it heavily to their chest and they get a strong inhale of it, like it can make them gasp. And, so you want to avoid that. Um, and also pregnant women should avoid using copious amounts of Panaway and deep relief. Roll on. They both contain wintergreen, which is a natural blood thinner. Okay. Yeah. So what makes the Young Living Essential Oils different from other oils? They grow and distill many of their oils um, themselves. On They're not just brokers. They have their own farms and distilleries in Idaho, Utah, France, Ecuador, Oman, Peru, Israel, Canada, Egypt, and they're growing. They are an open book company, as I mentioned before. Members are invited to participate in the whole um, seed to seal process. We can go in and see the entire process where it's done. We can see what the distilleries look like inside, what they do with the plant matter. I mean, it's really... Like I said, transparent company, um, you know, with, with integrity. And um, to be a medicinal grade, as opposed to just a fragrant oil, essential oils have to be grown and distilled a certain way. And nobody has more knowledge, I've found, than, um, you know, in this company. Here, I'm going to show you, um, or actually, I'm going to refer you, because I think it won't necessarily play, but I'm going to refer you to, um, a let's see here there is a uh, a video just bear with me a second there is a seed to seal video that i will refer everybody to on youtube if you just google Soil preparation, Young Living Seed to Seal. Um, you should you, you should get this. You can put my name in there too, Sarah Lindsay. Um, the whole entire process. It's actually a playlist of nine different videos or ten videos that show you the entire process. Where um, the company, Gary Young, actually the founder of the company, explains everything. I mean, in this video, you will see what they do to prepare the soil before planting it. And one of the things that really impressed me is um, that. Uh, they, before they even plant a seed of lavender in their land, they will nourish that soil naturally and organically for up to five years by planting and growing alfalfa there for five years. And then they work the alfalfa into the soil because alfalfa is high in nitrogen. And then at that point, you have the soil that is, oh, sorry, you have the soil that is healthy enough to nourish and grow a, a therapeutic and medicinal aromatic plant and then they, they will uh, plant the seeds at that point so that's just one um one of the things that has impressed me and that i haven't found in it you know another company that will dedicate that much time knowledge and really invest uh in in their land that way so um and then you can contact Nicole for some other comparisons. Uh, you know, if you're thinking about other companies and whatnot, there um, are some charts we have, comparison charts that just tell you, you know, which companies own their own farms, which ones are, um, you know, have fully equipped labs and all of that kind of stuff, which ones distill, um, you know, low temperature, low pressure, and have the knowledge to, you know, the knowledge of the right time to harvest different plants. So we have charts that, you know, um, compare different companies side by side. So if you're curious, contact Nicole and she will definitely um, share that information, those resources with you. Here. Cypress must be distilled for 24 hours to release all the chemical constituents. Most distilling operations only distill cypress one hour and 15 minutes. Essential oils must be distilled for the proper length of time to release all their active constituents. A distiller who is only interested in profit will distill oils 
for a shorter time at very high temperature and very high pressure. Lavender does not pr produce all its therapeutically effective substances unless it's distilled for one hour and 30 minutes, but most lavender is distilled for only 15. There you go. That's why we choose young women. <laughs> okay. So it all starts with the seed, and then it gets bottled and shows up at your front door, basically. <laughs> yeah, in bottom line is Young Living is the world leader in essential oils. Most of the products with Young Living have essential oils in them. They also have, you know, so their supplement, their household product, everything um, has essential oils, which, you know, is, is great. Now, you might want to ask, why would you want essential oil in your supplements? Nobody's kidding. There you go. Be with me a second. Sorry about that. Um, just gonna get my cover here. Actually, I'll finish the presentation. So, young. Uh, basically, if you have a high end, the highest quality uh, supplement, you your body will only absorb a small amount of it, and that's and that's your your supplements that are considered high end. When the high-end supplements are infused with essential oils, your body will absorb it that much quicker and, and much more. I think it's like something like 85% within a 24-hour period, where as opposed to um, you know very little. Um, so essential oils are added in our supplements to further support healthy immune system and increase absorption. Ningxia Red. Um, Nicole has here <laughs> uh, is a super antioxidant drink. I mean, it's made with ninja wolfberry, and the ninja wolfberry is found to be, I think it's something like two, three hundred percent more antioxidant than acai berry, which is so popular for you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's low glycemic, so it's okay for people with diabetes. It is youth promoting. It sustains blood pressure, cholesterol levels. Uh, that are already in healthy range, um, as well as help you know bring balance. So Two grams of sugar. Two grams of sugar. There you go. And and slow glycemic. Yes. Yeah. It aids a healthy immune system. It supports liver uh, and healthy you know and um, and its function. It maintains a healthy eye function as well. So it's just two ounces is all you need. Two ounces of this a day, two to four, no more than that. Um, eight and two ounces of it, you will get eight pounds of carrots, four quarts of carrot juice, more beta carotene than carrots, more vitamin C than oranges, 16 oranges, two pints of orange juice, 18 amino acids, 21 trace minerals, four pounds of beets, four cups of beet juice, six essential fatty acids, the vitamin B1, B2, B6. Six cups of raspberries, four cups of blueberries, and vitamin E. So those are the nutrients that you are getting in two ounces of it. Is the equivalent of all of that stuff. So you know, you take your pick. Do you want to eat all of that to get the nutrients, or just take two ounces? Two ounces. Of this drink? <laughs> I put two ounces in my um, my protein shake every day. That's a good. One. And then if um, because at first I couldn't really handle it. It, it doesn't taste bad. It's just a little tart for my taste. Um, so usually I would put it in like water, but then I was like, you know what, I'll just put it in my shake, you know, why not? Because yeah. I have to do my shake anyway, so yeah, do that. And then if I'm, I feel like I'm getting sick, then I'll do the four ounces. I mean, it's a great drink. And, and I've heard, um, you know, I haven't seen it written anywhere, but I have heard in the class that I attend, I, almost every time I go, there are different people who um, will swear by uh, when they give their, this drink to their kids during the summertime and their kids don't have sunblock on and they don't get sunburned. So somehow, you know, by ingesting it, it also does a lot in terms of, you know, protecting from the sun um, damage. Um, and then here's Ningxia Nitro. 
Mingxia Nitro is basically your Red Bull alternative. It increases mental fitness, cognitive alertness, and physical acuity. It enhances athletic perform performance and endurance. It boosts energy and serves as that daily pick-me-up. So, you, you know, some people have replaced coffee with this or, you know, those energy drinks. This is a much better, you know, a healthy alternative. So this is our Young Living philosophy. Anything that goes on your body should be safe enough to go in your body. And there should never be an exchange. For instance, you shouldn't have to take something for your heart that destroys your liver. And this is what we love about Young Living. This is what we stand behind, you know, because as I said before, I was on medicine all the time. And every time, every year I was sicker. I would get sick more often. And I would need more and more medicine. And so when I first looked at the price tag on that premium starter kit, I said, that is expensive. But when I, over time, realized the real cost of the other stuff that I was doing to my body over time, that was, you know, the, 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 the starter kit really was very cheap in comparison. And in the two years that I've given up all pharmaceutical, all prescription and over-the-counter medicine, um, I have not, I have not needed to use any of that stuff. And I have been to the doctor for nothing more than well, you know, and the birth of my daughter, <laughs> which actually ends up being natural with midwife. So you know, whatever. Which I, I don't think I would have done if I was still having that same lifestyle as before. Uh, so there's a price to pay. Don't look at that initial price tag on the starter kit and and and, and only focus on that. Think of how much you are spending on all the various over-the-counter prescription and doctor visits constantly back and forth and think how each year it increases and you go more frequently and what that's going to do to your body long term think of what it may be doing to your body inside that you don't see that you're going to then find out your liver is damaged your you know all this other stuff well, thankfully um you know after being on all those medications for so long thankfully everything's fine mm -hmm. i had no problems whatsoever because i had a very expensive like 30 page Wow. Yeah. So you saw her before, but yeah. she was really sick, and you see her now, and you see the difference. Thank you. That's great. Well, this has this does a lot with healing, and that's why a lot of um, the cancer um, hospitals. <laughs> uh, I think. Um, um, Beth Israel in New York City, yeah. I believe, and some other ones um, are using them with their cancer patients, especially after going through treatment, because to help sort of kind of restore the damage that was done through chemo, through radiation, you know. Um, Donna Karen, and actually you can Google about this too on our YouTube it, and there you will find videos of Donna Karen, um, oh goodness, what's it called? Urban Zen. So go to YouTube and look up Urban Zen Initiative, and you'll find Donna Karen's um, organization with a few other healthy-minded, natural living-minded people, professionals. They um, are in Beth Israel and a few other hospitals, uh, UCLA, I think, and um, in their cancer um, wards or cancer um sections of the hospital they have they have brought young living oils and yoga in bed in uh, bed patient yoga for them to help them get through the cancer treatment and, and you know recover afterwards so it's very interesting to see um, so here's some stuff especially for kids there are vitamins and minerals there are lotions there are toothpaste enzymes diaper creams bath gels and they are non-toxic safe natural and now they have a whole um, kit yes for kids kids sense. that's mm -hmm. already diluted right yep yep it's already diluted for the children and um, also they have one for the pet yes animal sense. animal sense um, Here's some stuff about healthy weight management that leaves you feeling energized and satisfied um, and just clean from the inside out. Somebody, told, somebody said, oh, it feels like I took a bath inside. <laughs> one, of, one, of them, one of those, I think it's, I don't know if it's the um, digesting cleanse or one of those, it says something 
in there, like to that effect, like yes. <laughs> like scrubbing your colon or yes, something. Like, it's just, I mean, think about it. Those walls are not very smooth, and there's a lot of stuff that when gets I read stuck it, in there I for decades. Died. And you know, so it's important to cleanse. It's important to you know bring balance to your systems. And so th there's definitely products within Young Living that help you do that and do it safely and naturally. Um, there's also effective non-toxic use promoting skincare. I love my art uh, daily skincare regimen with the foaming facial cleanser, the toner and the cream, the moisturizer. It's, I, I love this stuff. It's my regimen in the morning and at night and I can't do without it. And I was on proactive and some other stuff for years and years, for decades. And I, I literally have tried everything, and this is the thing that I love the most um, for my skin. For my it has done the best. Uh, so about the diffuser, why you should use one and what it does and why it's good. Basically, it enhances your surroundings. It eliminates the odors, protects your health. It cleans the air. Um, if you diffuse purification, it purifies the air, or really all of them do, but because um, we all have uh, he can purify the property. Thieves, when you diffuse thieves, it kills 99.96% of bacteria and viruses in the air. It is great. Um, so diffusing it is a great way to um, use oils aromatically. Um, also at night, it's great to diffuse it. If you have somebody who is extremely sensitive to oils and their smell, this is a great way to do it because you don't smell it as potent. Um, and it's way better and much healthier than those um, plugins that you put on your outlets that are slowly killing you, <laughs> basically. So basically, to sum it all up, Young Living works. The more you adopt the Young Living lifestyle, the better you will feel. It's safe for children, safe for pets, safe for everyone. Um, if you feel, if you if you like feeling good, then you will love Young Living. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about getting started. So with Young Living, you order directly from the company. The products are shipped directly to you. Uh, your role is basically to, or our role, I should say, our role is to refer people to the company, people like you, people who are looking for a natural, healthier alternative, and to give you your options, you know, just let you know that there are better things out there and help you make your choice. All wholesale members can refer to the company for compensation, although none of us are required to. There is no quota. You know, we are members whether or not we share and refer people. Uh, the only, only requirement we have as a wholesale member is that we make a purchase ourselves each year. One purchase per year of the, about $50 or so. That's the only requirement to be a wholesale member. Uh, but it just so happens when you are a young living member and your health is improving those around you notice they want to know what you're doing and somehow whether you want to or not someone will sign up because of you <laughs> it's just the law <laughs> and how it happens um, just the nature of things and so young living is great enough to compensate you for that uh, but you're not required to do that by any means so here's a little something about retail versus wholesale. Um, you know, I mentioned wholesale members, but if that scares you, you don't have to be a wholesale member. You can be a retail member. And as a retail member, you just basically purchase from the company. You pay full price, and that's that. If you decide to be a wholesale member, you will get 24% discount on pretty much everything. So uh, you are buying things at a much cheaper rate. And, um, you know, there's all kinds of benefits with that. And you qualify for that compensation if someone should, should sign up because of you. <laughs> so there are different options to becoming a wholesale member. Basically, to become a wholesale member, you purchase a starter kit. There's a few options for starter kits. The most basic one you see here is $40, and that includes a five milliliter bottle of Citrus Fresh, lots of samples of lavender, peppermint, lemon, peace and calming, and thieves. It also includes samples of Ningxia Red. It also has basic info about the product, the company, and the little, little samples like this. 
I'm going to show that. Okay. Do you see those samples? Those are the sample packets that come. There you go. So that's the basic kit, $40. If you want a little bit more, you can purchase the basic plus kit, which is that which we just showed you, plus the home diffuser. This is a huge bargain because the home diffuser alone costs $75. So all the other stuff that you get with this kit is pretty much free. And then another option is um, the premium kit, which is what most of the people, 99% of the people who, who sign on um, the best get. Value it's, it's the best value. I mean, it makes complete sense economically. It saves you in the long run. You get that basic kit, which I mentioned at first, the $40 one plus the home diffuser, plus the 10 everyday oils. And those 10 everyday oils, which we discussed earlier today, are the basic, most common, most versatile oils you will use to, for almost everything. And so you have your kit. You can replace your medicine cabinet. You can start a, a toxic free lifestyle, all for $150. And you get the diffuser with that. So, I mean, the diffuser alone, as I mentioned, is $75. Oh. Sorry about that. The diffuser alone is $75 for wholesale members, $95 for retail customers. So it's a huge value. Um, what's the I think I may need to change her diaper. What's the commotion? Nicole, do, you, do you think, did you feel comfortable going over? 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 The different kits on there. There's different kits. Oh, um, I don't know anything about the, the military one. Is that just the one that you can... <laughs> oh, oh it has the military. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. okay. So those are just so, different kits that you can order. Oh, you just... Okay. Yeah. And then um, Nicole's going to tell you a little bit about how you can get your premium starter kit for free. Because when you enroll somebody and they sign on with the, the premium kit, you get $50 compensation. So you get three fifty there you go. So refer, um, would you like to get your premium starter kit for free? Refer your friends and family to enjoy the benefits of the Young Living lifestyle. When they make an order the following month, you'll receive a, a thank you check from Young Living for referring people to the company. The check can cover the cost of your own premium starter kit. So if you, what is it, refer three people three people um that basically you get a, a, a thank you check for each one and that basically pays for your starter kit <laughs> i don't know what the next page is nope, we went back you want to tell them about maybe when you signed up what what actually changed your life? Or made you get the kit? Which kit did you get? I started with the premium kit. Okay. Um, referral program. You become a wholesale member. If you refer people to Young Living, you will be compensated for it. You get paid every time they order. Now, that's only for a certain... Oh, no, no, no. That's all the time, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking for the first three months. No, it's higher percentage. The first three months is called the fast track bonus. So you're actually getting a higher. You're getting twenty five percent of the first three months plus bonus on top of that. So the first three months that somebody signs on with Young Living, you you get actually but then you start every year so it's not compensation. Right. 
So you get paid every time they order, you get paid through five degrees of separation level. You get paid every time anyone in the five levels order. And that's basically like you and your little friend that friend knows somebody else and then somebody else signs on. You get, you know, up five levels down from there. I have to like press it like just so. I don't understand why it's not. Is it not on it? Yeah. 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 Right on it. <laughs> okay. Are you coming back? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, better now. So you get paid um, compensation as long as you're an active member, which means as long as you're placing an order. Um, actually, this says 100 PV, but all you have to do is place an order of 50 PV, just about $50, um, which shows that you're an active member. And that way you get compensated if, if people um, sign up, and, you know, as a referral from you. I thought if you were on um, essential rewards, it has to be 100. Um, well, 100 PV is more for business builders who basically to get the multi-level commission. Uh, so, you know, if you are thinking of making this your business, um, you know, then we can certainly discuss that a little bit better. And just basically, you, you would get more levels, you know, so it's more degrees of separation. So more people who have signed on, more people who have signed on on you, so more, more levels below you would get permission um, leading further down um, if you are spending 100 people uh, for that period. So we teach you how to refer to the company. You don't need to know all the products, just the options, which can be taught in 10 minutes. And you get tax benefits. Uh, which is great. So basically, the oils that you want. Oh, you're getting tired, are you? You want to walk around? Okay. The oils that you are, the oils that you are getting um, and using for yourself and sharing with your friends because you're sharing them, and you, um, you know, if you get compensated for sharing, you can actually use the the purchase as a business expense and get huge tax benefits for that so um you know it's like getting your oils paid for basically so a little bit about essential rewards essential rewards is a program that rewards you even further for making consecutive months of purchase it's not a requirement you do not have to purchase a rewards kit and you do not have to be on a sense of rewards. But it is optional. Sorry. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. So the the products that you're using most often, basically your lifestyle product gets de delivered to you conveniently on an auto ship basis each month. Um, and you can change month to month what you want sent to you. Um, you know, or some people find that every month they just want that, you know, lemon and beads showing up at their door. <laughs> and that, that's fine. Um, or you can change as I said. And so the your monthly purchases, which are showing up at your door, accumulate into points towards more free products and um i mean it's great it's like this and all over again <laughs> each month and you can start and stop and restart the program at any time there is no fee to, to enroll in essential rewards uh and it's the most cost effective way to transition to the young living lifestyle because so you the, get discounted shipping. yeah you get discounted shipping so right there you save already and then you're getting a percentage back on your own purchases basically so the first six months you are on essential rewards you will get five percent back um the second you know like six to twelve months uh you will get 
no, it's 15. 10, it's 10, 15, and then oh, yeah, 10, 20, right? 10, 15. Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm sorry, that's now. right. Yes, 10 percent. Correct. One more month, and then I get correct. 10%. Yes. So the first six months you're on a central road, you get 10% back on your own purchases. Then six to 12 months into the program, you'll get 15% of your own purchases back. And after you've been on a central rewards for a year, you get 20% of your purchases back. And don't forget that as a member, you're already getting 20% discount. So this is 20% on top of that. Like that's, that's fantastic. So when you basically make a hundred, say a hundred dollar order, $20 are going into your young living bank for you to just call them up and say, send me XYZ. Um, and you can let the points accumulate for up to a year. Um, for up to a year. Uh, and um, yeah, it's great. I mean, just in a couple of months, I had like over $100 on essential reward points. And, uh, you know, friends will say, oh, can you buy me? They're not quite ready to order and place, you know, from members themselves. And so can you just order this for me and whatnot? And your order goes up and, and then you all of a sudden have a hundred dollars, one hundred twenty-five dollars in essential rewards that you are trading for free products. I got this for free alkaline with my rewards. I got a bottle of seeds, the big seed. I got that for free. I got Copa Eva for free. Um, and I think, I don't know, I got something else. I don't know what it was. Oh, I think it's lavender that I'm waiting for. Lavender or peppermint, one of the two. I, I just ordered with my rewards points that I'm, mm -hmm. I should be here any day now. Yeah. So I always tell people when you're first signing up with Young Living, um, it'll ask you if you want to purchase a essential rewards kit. You say no thank you at this time and really get to know which products you love the most and then you can enroll at any time without having to purchase an additional kit. You literally just enroll by saying auto ship me this next month and that's how you enroll. The only requirement to be on essential rewards is that you um, make a $50 purchase, 50 PV purchase um, each month. So, and you know, you may look at that and say, oh wow, that, uh, an additional $50 a month, I can't spend $50 a month. Really, is it additional or is it replacing some other stuff that you're already spending it on? And that's how I, I um, have, have seen it. Basically, instead of spending it at the drugstore or other places, I spend right. it at Young Living and I end up saving in the long run. And I end up needing a whole lot less products from all other places. Aww. Somebody likes to walk around at this time. So save money and feel great. Begin by gradually replacing your current products with Young Living safe, non-toxic, and effective products. Uh, cleaners, support, um, supplements, beauty products, toothpaste, shampoo, facial cleaners, deodorant, soap. Um, so all of this stuff can be um, replaced for healthy natural alternative and it can be delivered straight to your door. If you do want to purchase an essential rewards kit, they do have great of them. Like I said, this is not a requirement. Uh, but they have tons of products. Are, are Omega Gize 3, which is the best fish oil out on the market. And that's a whole other presentation of itself. I can tell you why. Um, you know, so there's a kit with that plus a few other essential oils. There's a uh, kit with beauty products. There's a kit with an extra red and shampoo and conditioner and some oils. So you can see these different kits. So um, when you do get your kit after you have you receive your order, make sure you call um, your Young Living sponsor, the person who has referred you, Nicole or um, whoever has referred you, so that you can have your hour to empower. And what that is is basically you're going to get your kit and you're going to be like, now what do I do? <laughs> and so that's you know we're here to help you. We're going to help you. We're going to show you how to use your products, where to find more information, because there's tons of stuff hidden in that little kit that people don't even know. And we're going to show you how to navigate through the Young Living website, how to manage your personal account, 
Um, so you can call us when you receive your order um, or really call us anytime and we are happy to help you. So thank you so much for listening. We'll now open it up to questions. Do we have any? <laughs> Questions, concerns, questions. <laughs> so if you do have questions, reach out to Nicole um, or myself or um, any of us. And, uh, you know, shoot us an email. You can post the questions also on the event page on Facebook. And we'll certainly do our best to answer them or point you in the right direction of the resources. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.